Boom! Welcome back to the Guitar Spa where we bring you all the beautiful guitars reviewed just for you and I have a beautiful hummingbird modern classic that just came in. This is an old piece that just came in and um, yeah, I mean it had somebody did the guitar and action was extremely high, neck wasn't straight and I had to just fix it. Um, but it's a lovely guitar right now and I fix it right now and it sounds beautiful. Uh, this is a uh, Hummingbird Modern Classic. Uh, modern Classic basically is a thick of, uh, as I said, it's a classic guitar uh, that Hummingbird is. Uh, great for songwriters and there's a modern thick to, to this guitar. Uh, let's get this review started. This is basically a slope shoulder or a, a, a dreadnought uh, finish on this guitar. And the top is basically a uh, secret screw stop with a forward shift X brace and heavily scallop X brace and when tone bars. So what does this uh, exhibit in terms of tone? Uh, it results in a, a very warm tone that, that sits below your vocal range. So this is a, an extremely uh, great guitar for songwriters, for country players. A lot of them use the Hummingbird. And you would not find a hummingbird bird is something very unique. The tone, um, it's not found in any other guitars, whether it's a Martin or things like that. Like a D18 is slightly more agey, more attack. This just sits below, very warm sounding, lovely bass, not very, very clear articulate uh, trebles as you can hear later. Uh, that, and uh, the top Sika spruce top, you get Indian Rosewood, uh, uh, Bridge Indian Rosewood uh, fretboard with a parallel. Parallel or, or um, uh, we call that inlays on the fretboard itself. Hip plate is just black um, uh, ebony, or they be painted with the Gibson logo on it. Uh, they use this uh, Groovomatics uh, Gibson on this guitar. Whole finish, whole finish is varnish, nitro finish, at the end it will itch uh, into a very orangey yellow color as this one has. Uh, you, this one has a actually a uh, um, honey burst color but it has turned a little bit dark to like a cherry sunburst beautiful and the pick guard uh, this one is a replacement which is slightly thicker the original actually is thinner a bit because the original normally comes out and because of humidity it just delaminates okay it's, it's, it, it comes with tusk saddle and tusk nut I've upgraded the saddle to the bone saddle and this one su supposed to be um, plastic pins and they they upgraded it to uh, bone pins um yeah pretty nice guitar it comes with the the arrow backs uh, pickup on this guitar i've set it up nicely with uh, martin 1254 strings back and sides are lovely mahogany that's stained um darker a little bit to match the top lovely sunburst and let's listen to how this guitar sounds beautiful on stage is
let's steal the guitar a little bit. Make sure that uh, because the new strings. It's uh, incidentally it's short skill, so it's easy on your hands. It's very easy. It's like you got a warm, warm sounding guitar. Warm sounding guitar. Lovely, lovely. Let's let's, let's let's play my favorite song. Couple this baby on a third fret and uh, listen how it sounds. You can see, you can hear that it's not in your face. This guitar is not like your normal game. And it's great for singing. Let's say I'm letting this sing a little bit and, and it sits below my voice. I have a LL16 here and I'm gonna sing and you can hear it's gonna clash with my voice a little bit even though it's very very clear Uh, just a demonstration how a hummingbird compares to a, a Yamaha. Uh, the breed is breeze, you know, it sings. It has more bass. Okay, let's continue with the review. Let's put the mic a little bit closer.
Let's do a bit of fingers, finger picking. It's a little bit different uh, finger picking on this. different not with is 1 11 16 uh, and the fretboard radius is 12 inches uh, normal Taylor maybe most of the modern guitars are either 14 inch or fretboard radius of 14 or 16 uh, inch. In fact, most, most, most guitars are 16. Uh, Taylor's are 16. Kudos about, I think, 15 or 14. This is 12. sound the guitar with a, a lovely warm bottom end as you can hear I mean even compared with the LL16 Deluxe it sounds different it doesn't clash with your voice so if you sing you know, it's, it's beautiful
carried away playing all these songs. Love songs, man. Falling in love with you. It's just falling in love with you, hummingbird. Okay. So if you like this review, give me a thumbs up. You know, you, I've done demonstration, a little bit of finger picking, not a lot. You know, even I play, if I play here. Let's play the upper register a little bit. Tell me if you like, give me a comment below, tell me if you like this guitar or you don't like and when I did the demonstration comparison between this and the Yamaha, could you hear the difference between how this just sat below my voice and how the other one is like piercing through, uh, the darkness piercing through. Uh, just give me some comments and I'm going to sign off this Jarvis, hope you like this review, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. Give me some comments. And if you like this review, just send it to your friends or so. And I'm going to just say Happy New Year to you because it's going to be the year of the rabbit in a couple of hours. Okay, this is the E of Chinese New Year. I'm doing this video just for all you fans that have time to watch this video. Till, all, till my next review, I said live with passion, play guitar. I love, joy, peace, health and wealth to be multiplied in your life. I will see you very soon. Signing off. Bye-bye.